Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. We're back with another walk around video. Thanks to the good friends we have here at IAAI Oklahoma City. Going to have some fun today because I'm finding all kinds of really cool cars. And I got to tell you, I'm seeing more and more of this vehicle right here in the auction yards. And there's a good reason. Let's talk about it. Let's show off a Porsche. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? All right, it looks like snow. That's hail, folks. Rolls Royce Dawn. Oh my goodness, why is my life so fun? Come on, car, you're floored. I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was gonna be perfect, right? Why can't I, like, fall in love with a Lexus? Monkey. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm say, in the car. There she is. Love the color. Love, love, love the wheels. Check out that color. I love it. This is nice. And it looks much, much worse than it actually is. Of course, they had the rear view mirror here. Side mirror is parked up good for us. Runs and drives. Uh, it says keys. Yes. Mileage 64,000. This is a 20. 17 Porsche Cayenne. Oh, 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 please, 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 please. Let her start. I don't know. Let's just see what's going to happen. This is open. I don't know why. Hopefully she still has some battery. She's been hauling hay or something. I don't know what that is. Oh, she's been hauling like bark for your garden or something. Woo. Okay. This is a good little work truck. Does the, this still works. Why was that open? That's nice to know. Thank you for your service. Looks good over this side as well. Okay, tires have tread on them. They look like they do match. The only issue we have is right up here, which doesn't look to be <laughs> so serious. I can't really open the hood because this is stuck open. Why are we doing this? Here we go. We're gonna put the windshield wiper down we're going to open the hood and see what's going on. What's, what's, oh, it's, yeah, doggone it. Okay, I can't show you under here because it's, it's latched down. But the damage is really just up front. Okay, so there may be a radiator, maybe a condenser involved, of course, the bumper and a hood. Uh, this does not look to be damaged. This does not look to be damaged at all. Okay, price those few parts out and you'll have a nice, nice, nice looking car. Oh, so there is power. Let's just see what's gonna happen. Oh my goodness, this reminds me of a Panamera. I drove home from Los Angeles with my good friend Randy. I really wanted that car. I just hadn't had the money to buy it at the time. Let's see what's gonna happen. Are we gonna start? Look at this. Okay, look at this. Oh my goodness, Mikey likes. On the Panamera, this stuff kind of came down through here a little bit more. Air conditioning is cold. It does say check tires. But we have gasoline, we have oil pressure, we have everything else that we need, 64,000 miles. And is the time right? The time is right. The clock even works. Look at this stuff up here. Look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, somebody's falling in love. Can you hear the angels sing? Oh my goodness. Let's check out the air on the seats. Here we go. I can, oh, oh, okay. I feel that. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so we do have to reattach your rear view mirror. That's not gonna be too difficult. This is nice in here. Wow, they did a lot of upgrading between 2004 and 2012. This, I like. I really, really do. And the engine sounds good. Easy fix, folks. Easy, easy, easy fix. Don't you love how they put the Ignition switch on the left-hand side. Back from the racing days. Yeah, jump in, turn, shift, and off you go. Yep. 
Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, well there is a little damage right here on the door. Oh, you get a trophy. I can't show this. Oh, okay, this is a trophy for someone in the uh, Oklahoma Public Human Resources thing. I <laughs> can't show that. Okay, you get a plastic bug. This person had grandkids or kids, but this is nice. Oh, and the kids put their feet on the seat, of course, as all kids do. All right, here we have it, 2012 Porsche. Oh my gosh, Cayenne with the tow hitch. Mikey likes. Now for something completely different. Yeah, you haven't seen any cars like this now, have you, huh? Yeah, this is a 1996 Lincoln <laughs> Mark 8. Yes, this would be a great car for an OU alum. Red over white. Look at these. Yep, and they even have the uh, way that you unlock it right there. Look at this car. Holy moly. Brings back memories. I had a Lincoln Continental back from this time. 32 valve Intec V8. You're going to need an antenna. But everything else looks good. Bridgestone tires. That's nice. This door's locked. Different kind of tire right here. That's nice. This says 78,000 miles, runs and drives. Okay, shall we look at the engine first? Uh, how do we get it open? This is the dirtiest part of the whole deal right here, trying to figure out how you get these things open without blinding yourself in the sun. Here we go. Come on, there it is. Oh, okay. A dustier engine I have never seen. She is dirty. She may have been sitting for a while. Although, when you look for rodent droppings and grass and leaves and sticks to make a little nest, that's not enough. I don't see any of that kind of stuff, which is a good sign. I even found a rodent's nest in my S500. Yep, my all-time favorite car that I'm driving right now, the 97 S500. And I didn't know about it. <laughs> so I cleaned it out and there were two wires that were broken. Yeah, fixed a problem I had and now the car is perfect. The car is perfect. 1997. This, woo, this is hot. This car is hot, but look at the styling difference back here. Look at this. This was high tech stuff now, folks. Center console, rear defrost. You got your reinstalled, uh, reinstalled. You get an aftermarket radio, all kinds of push buttons right here for your super fancy computer right there. Let's see what's going to happen. I don't have any in. No. It says run and drive. I need to tell Randy about this car. Should we? It's not doing anything. Should we do it? This is like melting my fingers. Okay. And look at the back. <laughs> Ah, this is so tempting. But this is like total, total Randy thing right here. I think he would love it. I really, really do. The battery is going to be absolutely dead. Let's just kind of see what happens. Just for giggles and laughs. Let's just kind of see what's going to happen. Okay, red to positive. Black to negative. Let's see if I can give it a boost. Here we go. All right, let's see how powerful NOCO actually is. That's a small jump starter. But, oh shit. Okay. Holy guacamole. That's new. Yeah. doesn't like me. Okay, 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 okay. We'll stop. We'll stop. We'll stop. We'll stop. We'll stop. 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 That was unfortunate. Okay. Well, we tried. Dag nabbit. That's okay. 
I bet she would run, though. The belt looks good way down in there. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Mark 8. I really, I'm looking for like a Mark 5, Mark 6 in light blue. That's a cool car, though. That is a really, really, really cool car. Finally is another car that gets parked over here at IAAI. One of my favorites. I don't know why. I've had one. It was gold. I sold it to my landlord, and they loved it. Yep, the 5 Series BMW. This is a 2010. And for some reason, these are popping up all over the auctions as well. These are good cars, folks. Engines, pretty good engines. But they are fun, fun, fun cars. This one says it is a non-run and drive. I'm looking for damage. I don't see any kind of damage. All the wheels have air. Son, oh, Continental, Sontinental. Yeah, I got me some Sontinental tires. Continental tire here. Okay, this is sticking out a little bit. Clean up the headlight. It's a hot day out here in Oklahoma. I'm losing my mind. Continental and I guarantee a Continental. Yep, or what is this one? Yep, it's a different kind of Continental, but it's a Continental. That counts, right? Okay, yep. Okay, let's see what she's got on the inside and we'll pop up the hood and see what the deal is. But I do, I love the way these run and drive. I like the little chimes. The iDrive, E. Eh. It has a very similar interior to the E550. Same colors, right? Black and tan and wood. I just love these cars. Oh, I know they have a couple of issues. I know, I just know. This one, I think, is not gonna be good for us. Okay, let's just kinda see what's happening. I know she's not gonna start. No, she's not gonna start. I like this. I, this is kinda fun to deal with. It's comfortable, it's pretty, it's, it will cruise. And I love these cars. I love the way they drive. They're just the perfect size. They're not too big, they're not too small. They're just right, they're kind of the workhorse, like the Mercedes E-Class. They call it the workhorse of the make. This is the workhorse, I think, in this make as well for the BMW. Let's see what's under the hood and see if we can figure out what the issue is. Let's see what the back seat looks like too. Beautiful, look at that. Look how nicely this has been kept, which means there's probably something serious in the engine. Yikes. Okay, a couple of heldings up here. A couple of scratches. That doesn't bother me at all. Oh. Well, someone's been in here. <laughs> yeah, we're missing some pieces. Okay. You got an air cleaner box that should be here. This is your starter. I had a three series station wagon for a while and it had a hole in the engine right down through there i wanted to keep the car but i didn't want to fix the whole engine so i sold it pretty cheap so we got the exhaust <sighs> okay well yeah see okay we got lots of parts lots of stuff missing here especially dag nabbit which is kind of serious. Okay. Well, little girl, I wanted you. I did. All right, that's gonna do it for another video. Thanks to good folks here at IAAI Auto Auctions in Oklahoma City. We're having fun. Even by myself, I'm having some fun. I do miss my good friend, Randy. We will get together soon. Everybody keeps asking me, when are you guys gonna do another trip? I'm hoping to do a trip very, very soon. I just need to get out of Tulsa for a while and take a little vacation. Yeah, I have a grandson who's gonna have a uh, birthday coming up in September, so I am going to Atlanta. That'll be fun. Maybe I could do some walk-arounds up there. <gasps> could I get into the Atlanta IAAI site? Perhaps, perhaps I'll give it a try. We'll do that. Okay, so it's bye-bye to the Beamer, and it's bye-bye for the video, folks. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for hanging with me. I'm sorry it's been so long, and we're gonna keep these videos, we're gonna keep them coming. Yeah, we're gonna keep them coming just for you. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.